Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. We have started the Python function series where we will give the explanation about unknown Python functions for the betterment of understanding. Hope you guys learn and make use of it. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the string yes containing multiple words in it. Then we must sort the words in the string yes based on the last character of each word. We have also given a note that if two or more words have the same last character, then it must be sorted in their order of occurrence. So this is not a big problem. First, we will sort the string based on the last character of each word. So let us take our first test case that is welcome to skill rack. Now I will highlight the last character of each word. So here it is E, here it is O and here it is K. So in alphabets we will have E first. So this word will be printed first. Then after E, we will have K. So we will have this word. Then after K, we will have O. So we will have 2. So now let us remove. So this will be our sorted string. That is our output. Let us implement our program. First, we'll get our string S. Yes. So s equal to input of dot split off. Now the split off function will split the words in the form of list. Then after that we are going to sort them. So s equal to sorted of s comma key. As we are going to sort based on the last character of each word, we will use the lambda function where the parameter is word. Then the return type is the last character that is word minus one. So at last we'll print asterisk yes. So this asterisk will unpack the elements that is the words. Now let us execute our program with our first test case. We have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our second test case. We have got the correct output. So now we will simplify this program in a single line. So how can we do that? So here we'll get the input. Then here we'll print them. So this can be removed. So yeah. We have simplified the program in a single line. Now we execute with our first test case. We have got the correct output. Now let us execute with our another test case. Yes, we have got the correct output. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.